So by now you've probably already heard about the spectacular rise. Oh my God. And subsequent slowdown. So far this year, the market has been cooling. Of the global NFT craze. But you might not know that there's a parallel Chinese NFT ecosystem that's been developing among designers, artists, and entrepreneurs with the growing wave of digital art reflected on platforms like Xiaohongshu. So the Chinese NFT ecosystem is a bit different from the rest of the world. NFTs in China are officially known as digital collectibles, although the term NFT is still commonly used. They're based on blockchains created by local tech giants, and they can be purchased directly with RMB. This is Qin Wen. She's a Web3 investor, entrepreneur, and art collector who's been following the NFT art movement in China since it first took off. It's all started by the Christie's Beeple sale and surprised everyone. In March of 2021, just a few short weeks after the Beeple sale, Qin Wen and her colleagues organized the world's first crypto art exhibition in Beijing. We believe in the technology so much and we see there are going to be a tech-enabled decentralized art market. So we want to introduce the technology and also the art to the public. Interest in NFT has made its way to Xiaohongshu, which has become a portal for China's Gen Z to learn more about this new form of digital art. In 2021, posts for digital collectibles rose 1,228% when compared to the same period of the previous year, while searches for NFT grew 159 times. And in November of 2021, Xiaohongshu started experimenting with NFTs as a part of its platform with a new in-app feature called RSpace, which allows users to seamlessly buy, sell, and showcase blockchain-based digital collectibles and 3D art directly within their profiles. In Xiaohongshu, we already have our e-commerce, so we just use this ability into the digital collectibles. So actually, at this stage, a normal customer, they could buy some digital collectibles from our creators just as easy as they bought a pair of shoes or a bottle of water in any e-commerce platform. In early 2022, RSpace hosted the Metaverse Temple Fair, an event where users could buy digital art collectibles priced from 20 to 200 RMB, and which were created by leading designers from the Xiaohongshu platform. One of the featured design teams was Extended Identity, a digital art and fashion studio which created eight limited edition digital collectibles for the event. I think the huge step about art space, they are like solving the social function. You can put a like in their art space and also you can see other characters what they're talking about. In addition to the social functionality of art space, the new blockchain-based ecosystem is safeguarding ownership and usage rights of digital artists. We think that like, first we do open to reality, it's a hard work and it's a really technical work. We won't want to do it for free anymore. If we upload in a 3D asset to some places like Amazon or something, people can download it and transfer it for free. But combined with blockchain, it's limited and also your real audience, which is an art collector, can more engage with your work. While we're still in the early stages of this new trend, the Chinese NFT market is projected to reach almost 30 billion yuan by 2026. And close regulations safeguarding against speculation and price hiking are arguably creating a more stable foundation for the growth of the NFT market in China. I definitely believe that big players like Xiaohongshu have the responsibility and also have the capability to help their user to secure their digital ownership and also create this good environment for the new generation of digital artists. I'm very looking forward to see their progress and also their developments in the NFT space.